Well, John, it's wonderful to see the way on this property you've been working in total harmony with nature. You've obviously clearly understood the essential interlinkage between good water management, good soil management, and a biodiversity of vegetative uh, cover. Yeah. And as a result, from what we can see across here, uh, is a, a complete uh, a reclamation of degraded soil and re rejuvenation to a, to a healthy, productive farm. So very well done. And what we have to make sure with, with, uh, that your principles and the principles of other farms mm. that we're looking at uh, relating to the same interlinkage is carried out right throughout the whole of the farming community because about 60% of our agricultural landscape across this country is degraded, um, some of it very uh, seriously. Mm. Well here Michael, we've taken on quite a bad case in terms of agricultural landscapes where the major problem we had was dry land salinity. We had active saline seeps across about 23% of the place mm. back in 1980 when we took it on. In repairing that landscape, we needed to turn off what I call the recharge tap. That's where the rainfall we get was entering in the hilltops and forcing a hydraulic head that came and forced the water, saline water out on the flats and basically meant the, the saline flats were non-productive. So by getting the establishment of trees, both by direct planting and indirectly by promoting conditions to bring about natural germination, we've managed to turn off the recharge tap which has led to a lowering of the water table across the flats mm. and now the flats are our most productive country. They've gone from pushing to carry one dry sheep equivalent to the acre, if I can mix up my metaphors, to carrying this year, middly a good year, 30, 35 plus DSEs per hectare. Dramatic turnaround because those productive flats are now able to realise their true potential. Mm. And we continue to produce increasingly better Ultra fine wool, some of the best that's produced in the play in the country, mm. and uh, it's a top natural product.